Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dylan and I'm here with a DJI Mavic Pro tutorial video from the DJI Mavic Pro series I have going on on my YouTube channel. Um, today, we're going to be covering an intelligent flight mode known as gesture. Now, this is going to be truly um, experimentational for me as I have not tried it yet. Um, I've read about it, I've even seen a few videos. Gesture mode seems to be pretty eh works sometimes doesn't work sometimes so we're going to try it out and see how it works for us this evening um just wanted to do a quick little um experimentational video tutorial for you guys hopefully it will work and um, i'm ready to get back inside because it's chilly out so let's get this started okay guys so first things first we are going to um hit the little drone icon i am in the dji go app today i'm usually in the dji go 4 app but I'm thinking since this is such a flaky, or, or so said to be flaky, um, intelligent flight mode, that we are going to um, just try the original DJI Go app. But first of all, we just need to launch the drone, so let's do that. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay, so we have the drone launched. Let me actually get over here. Um, behind so where the drone's not the camera of the drone's not pointing into the sun let's see here okay now let's what you did want to do is you're going to want to frame yourself up which we are doing right here and there i am okay now we're going to hit the little drone icon again i'm in dji go 4 uh, actually i'm in dji go if i was in dji go 4 app It'd be a remote, but uh, today we're in DJI Go, so it's a little drone icon. Then that brings up our intelligent flight modes, and we're going to hit gesture. Now, as you see here, it says number one, move to be tracked, number two, gesture to confirm, and number three, gesture to take a photo. So we're going to click OK, and we're going, OK, it found me. Now I'm going to hit Go, and we're going to hide this. I'm going to set the remote down. So you guys can see that it is tracking me. So I'm gonna get right here. I'm gonna put my hands up. Hopefully it recognizes me. Put my hand in front of my face and nothing's happening. Of course it's not. Okay, so let's see if something's going on. It is still tracking me, so that's good. Maybe we are too close to me. Let's take it back a little bit. Okay, it's um, let's hit. Okay, it's acting kind of crazy. It's like going back and forth. I'm gonna hit stop. It's acting very strange, like going back and forth. It's flying away from us again. Let's get it further away from us a little bit. Okay, maybe. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back to normal mode real quick. Let's give it a chance. Let's give it a chance here. Okay, I'm going to go to my intelligent flight modes. Once again, I'm going to click on gesture. Okay. Draw the box around me. Okay. So it says it found me. Now we're going to click go. Set the drone, set the remote down. Okay. And then there is, there is the drone. We're going to put our hands up. Make a frame in front of our face. It's working. Okay, awesome. Let's step right over here. Raise my hands up. Frame my face. It's working. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Let's actually, you guys see that I have um, the controller on the ground. So this is all hands-free. Okay, I'm gonna walk over here. It's still tracking me. I'm gonna put my hands up, frame my face. It's working. Okay, so awesome. Gesture mode does kind of work. I'm not sure exactly why it is so inconsistent and why it didn't work that first time. I didn't do anything differently. Here, let's, let's try one more right here while I'm by my camera to make sure it's gonna work. Okay, hands up, 
frame in front of my face. Hands up, frame in front of my face. And of course it's not working. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of gesture mode and land the drone. Be right back with you guys. It's still tracking me. Okay, stop. Go back to normal mode and let's just land you. Okay, so we're just gonna turn this off real quick. And we're gonna turn you off. Okay guys, so what did we learn today about gesture mode? It's inconsistent and it's imperfect. However though, a lot like um, anything else, um, there's gonna be imperfections and I know that gesture mode is a relatively new intelligent flight mode that DJI has put out so um, Let's give them a little time to work out the kinks and um, you know I'm sure they'll have future firmware updates where maybe they'll fine-tune it and it will work a little bit better But as of today January 20 whatever it is I'll uh, right here January It's not so consistent so um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys what that was. Um, probably an alternative method for right now while it doesn't work very good, while gesture mode's not very consistent, is to just go into your photo settings and instead of having your photo set to just take a single photo when you click the shutter button, you can actually do timed interval shots. Like, I don't, I'm not, now don't hold me to it, the interval times, but I think it's like half a second, a second, two seconds, five seconds, but let's just say two seconds. You can actually change it to two seconds. Fly your drone up, it's pose for your shot, put your remote down, hide it. Because the whole idea of the gesture mode is, is that you don't want a photo shot of yourself holding the remote. You want it to look more natural. So anyways, you can hide your remote and then push the shutter button and then it would just fire off a photo every two seconds until you stop it by hitting the shutter button again. But um, once DJI, if and when they get gesture mode fine tuned and working like it's supposed to work, then I'm sure it will be great. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you checking out another DJI Mavic Pro tutorial video. Um, please hit that subscribe button and please hit that like button. I appreciate you guys checking out my videos and until the next one, this is Dylan.